Hi everyone! In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to find and use our building's exact location using Google Earth Toolbar and its features such as add location, toggle terrain, etc. In SketchUp 7, we usually have to open Google Earth first and then go back to SketchUp 7 and then get current view. I'm going to show you, but before that, don't forget to turn on your internet connection. First, turn on Google Earth, like this, and then enter the address of our building location. For example, I'm going to use Tanah Abang Jakarta. Keep on zooming until you find your site. For example, over here. And then go back to SketchUp 7, and then click this, Get Current View. It will import the contour of the site that you want, like this. At first, it's still flat. So to see the contour, we can click Toggle Terrain, this. Now we can see the contour. But the weakness of this is, the texture result only in black and white. To have the colored one, we have to go back to Google Earth and then save the image, save the image that we have chosen earlier using Edit and then Copy Image. Using any image editor that you like, like to use Photoshop, we make a new file. The size will automatically be the same as the image that we have saved earlier from Google Earth. Then Control V, then you can save it as PNG or JPEG and then go back to SketchUp 7. Import the previous image as texture and then map it. But using SketchUp 8, we don't have to use that anymore. We can just use add a location in Google Toolbar. Then type the address you want to use. For example, I'm going to use Pantai Sanur Bali. Then choose exact location we are going to use. We can scroll the mouse or use this. And then select region. Select the area you want, and then grab it. Now we can use it like this. Just like in Google SketchUp 7, to see the contour, we use toggle terrain. When we click it, we can see the red box. That means the object is locked and you can't move it or edit it yet. Now we go to layer. We can see there are two layers. The first one is Google Earth Terrain, which is the contour that we are currently see. And the other one is Google Earth Snapshot. First, right click and unlock it. It turned to blue, means now it's editable now. Then we separate them. Now we can use it. Double click the contour. Then view hidden geometry we can see the face part of the contour still big like this if you want to use the smooth tool the whole thing will be lifted like this so we have to edit it first so the faces become smaller we can select all and then use add detail from sandbox tool sandbox tool the surface will be divided into smaller faces. But I think this is still too big, so I will add more detail. Just select some of the big faces. We don't have to use the smaller part. Again. We divide it again. The smaller the detail, the smoother it will get. Now we turn off the hidden geometry. We still see the line there. So we use soften. Select all and then soften. Choose soften coplanar. OK. If you click it, it will still the same contour as before. But now we can edit it better. For example, let's use Smooth Tool. Change the radius, 25 for example. And then, make the water part lower.
and then raise the land part higher. And then, for example, if we want to make a new building over here, first, we go to the snapshot object, the flat one. View from the top, remove the perspective. First, we are going to adjust the axis so it will match the building. The red one first, and then the green axis. Now we can skip now we can skip the making building part because it'll take too long. You can just make any building you want. Now we move the building using the corner as the placing point. From here to here. It's still floating, but it's alright. We can place it using stem tool first. Input the slope distance, I'll put in 2, adjust the height, this way we can estimate where we want to cut or fill the land. We can see it using drop plugins or just move it like this. See it again from the top. And then turn on the perspective. Now we can adjust the view. We can also see this model in Google Earth. Just click preview model in Google Earth and then export it. Don't forget to turn on your internet connection. We can see that Google Earth automatically search our location. This is really cool, I think. Now we can see our building. This is in Bali Island. More or less like this. The contour wasn't important because it doesn't consider as an object. If you want to use the contour, we can explode it first and then preview it again in Google Earth. It's searching our location this is our building with the contour that we've edited this is really cool for presentation I think we can show the client how our building will be situated that's it have a nice day